We living it up in the hotel, California. We're such a lovely place, such a lovely place, such a lovely place. Guys, Bitcoin overdose here. Your daily dose of crypto, guys. I overdose so you don't have to. Definitely go follow me over at Bitcoin overdose on Twitter. Your daily dose of crypto. Buy that dip. One Bitcoin always equals one Bitcoin. Boys, we're flipping those shit coins over the Bitcoins. And this is not any financial advice whatsoever, but you should buy Bitcoin and chill. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell right next to that to stay up to date on the latest and greatest crypto news. Guys, I'm starting some beef on Twitter and it's actually like a lot of fun. I just dropped a new song called Mayo and Beef and <laughs> or buy Mayo and Beef, but it's called Not Fun Face. Um, it's just some random shit poster, and I think he's actually really funny. Like, honestly, I hope he fucking destroys me, and then I can launch an album and then say I didn't really want to talk about it, just like MGK, because that's how I'm going to roll, guys. I don't know if you know any of that beef in the, the white rappers right now, but it's still kind of going on. Actually, I think Eminem killed it, but we'll see what happens. Anyways, fam, so today we're going to be taking a look at Bitcoin and we're going to be taking a look at the overall market cap and really kind of what I see going on. I think hot popped pretty well today. And then we also had uh, mainframe, I think, up today as well. So I just kind of want to like go over that. I want to see what's actually popping, what's dumping, you know, whatever else we usually do here at Bitcoin Overdose, guys. But, uh, you know, I'm only here to overdose on Bitcoin, so I really only care about that. And in just the last 45 minutes to an hour, we've seen a dump kind of from 6,600 to about, I mean, it hit 65 and then kind of came back up. But it's something to note that we tried to go into a BART here and it looks like we still might make it. But um, if you actually count the wick, we definitely hit it. So the BART Simpson pattern, I know a lot of people have been uh, probably saying that over the last nine, 10 months. But it is literally looks like a Bart Simpson head. So it is like the jagged top and then it jumps right back down to its support or it's like, you know, before it pumped. Now, this only happens because we're on really high leverage. These traders right now in this range have been using quite a bit of leverage. And it means for very, very fast pumps, very, very fast dumps. It's like minute times like it's going up and staying and then it's just going to wait. To do something more now what we're kind of seeing here is a stop of the sell off now i i don't know what exactly it is but i can tell you guys that there are buyers here at 6500 and you know how long are we gonna hold this kind of a pump i don't know but it does look like it wants to go to the upside at some point just because it didn't dump as much today as it probably should have and you know, this all happened after the day closed, obviously. So I guess we'll kind of see in the future if this is going to, you know, it, like tomorrow, we'll see if it wanted to continue to dump or not um, or into the night. We'll probably see some type of a movement. But right now, somebody on Twitter named Crypto Con uh, Crypto Don Alt just posted a and I wish I could find it. I've actually like scrolled right by it and I probably missed it somewhere up in here. But he posted how right now Bitcoin bulls have, you know, backed institutional money, how they have kind of like a will sentiment right now. And, you know, kind of, kind of just how like we have more retail volume finally that we haven't had for a long time. And he also mentioned that the bulls have a lot going for them as well. Shorts are piling up. Uh, you know, a lot of people are still bearish, you know considering how long we've been above 5,800 or whatever, but we're close to 6K support. And, you know, it could happen really quickly. We could fall. So, you know, he was strong to say that we haven't broken downtrend yet. So there's just a lot that's still going in both directions. And that's why I haven't made a statement yet on if I'm bullish or bearish. I've told you guys I'm bullish on altcoins until Bitcoin makes a decision. And then immediately after that, Bitcoin will be the only thing we keep our eyes on. Um, you know, all coins have been pumping, guys. All coins have been pumping the last month or so. And, you know, if you really kind of break that down into, uh, you know, what that means as for Bitcoin moving sideways, all coins move up, that has been 
pretty much true, especially against Ethereum, guys. If you've been training against Ethereum the last three months or two months, you've been doing very well against Ethereum. But, you know, with Bitcoin not moving, it does allow the altcoins to breathe. So we're going to be talking about this too, guys. I don't know. Bitcoin dominance is chilling right above 52%. Uh, it's kind of nice to have it above here. I've said this the last, like, three weeks but we've been you know since august actually I, I can't believe it's been that long uh yeah but august i guess we've had it above 50 percent and i remember the first time that that happened and guys like september october i mean we we've almost had a month of bitcoin dominance and i feel the longer that we're above 50 percent the greater the pump will eventually be into altcoins we saw it last year like october 13th or no october of last year we saw it peak over into the 50 percent range up in the 60 percent range 65 percent before december 7th and december 8th we saw a huge pump in altcoins you know it just started for the whole like next month and a half you know we kind of had that march april run if you guys remember that and then you know we were right back down there in, in april uh at the end of april towards the end of June, we really started that going back up to where we were, which is nice, which is fine. Honestly, I want Bitcoin to stay above 50% just a little bit longer. Let us accumulate a little bit, uh, you know, or let us see where this is going to go. If we go down, I mean, <sighs> it, it's going to be violent, but if we go up, it's also going to be pretty full throttle. There's not going to be any weights. Like people have been waiting for this breakout for a long time. And I've mentioned it time and time again on my channel, guys. Trading in this area is very risky, but it does look like it wants to head higher as of right now. Uh, but we will see. We will see. And I'm excited to keep watching, honestly. This is like one of the most exciting times coming up in Bitcoin's history, probably. Because if, it, if we hit 2K again by the end of this year, last year will be known as the pump and dump. And, you know, if if we go up last year was just the accumulation phase which is a whole nother bowl it's a whole nother beast that we haven't yet dealt with but on the rsi here we have a tightening so i feel like we're gonna get a break to the up or downside so this should be fun guys all i'm saying is on the daily like this is gonna be a great fucking day tomorrow uh what else is we whew, let's see here what else have we seen what else have we really seen going on today and i wish Actually, guys, I'm sorry I haven't gone live. Like, first of all, follow me over on Twitter to get all of those updates because, honestly, I'm over there way more often. Today, I had, like, a shit ton of engagements. It was a lot of fun. Uh, like I said, I started some beef with a shit poster. Uh, you don't have to check out that video, but, honestly, like, it is kind of funny. So, we'll see what happens with that. I just kind of want to get some beef, you know. I don't really want the beef, actually. I just kind of want the, you know. I don't know. It's fun. It's just a fun time. So, uh, you know, if I get wrecked or destroyed or whatever, like, I'm not even going to worry about it. I'm just going to, you know, release an album and never think about it again. No, <laughs> I'll drop like six diss songs in a row or some, some shit like that. I'd be surprised if he actually responded, to be honest. Um, Hollow Chain, guys, is up quite a bit. Genesis Vision is up quite a bit. Uh... Cyber Miles, I don't know what that is. Or uh, again, this one's been up. Like, what is the actual like return on this? <laughs> oh my god, this thing has gone straight up. I've seen it in the top ten like every day, man. What started at one sixty five, went up to five eighty, down to three twenty, back up to four fifty six, back down to three hundred, back up to four hundred. Yeah, this thing has been everywhere, man. I see it like every other day. I'm sure you guys have seen it in all my videos lately. And then we got Theta Token. I like that project. I don't know what they're doing right now that's making it go up. Chain has not popped as big as I thought yet. Tron seemed to have big, made a pretty big pop today. But it kind of came back down, kind of corrected. Uh, you can remember, guys, buy the test maybe. Uh, or buy the retest of the pump. Never really a bad thing. Verge finally seems to be breaking to the upside. If you bought the retest, it'd be up a couple percent right now. But, you know, not really too big of moves today. Usually we get a little bit bigger. HOT is the big one. And I've been 
foamy more like FOMOing more and more into this every time because I honestly think this is gonna pull the TRX of last year. If you guys remember that pump, like I'll, I'll bring it up again for good reference, but you see it down here and it's like what hovering below it's at like 19 sats forever it hit 25 came back down to like 19 20 and then we saw it peak to 39 which is exactly where the cell walls are on hot and then it comes back down to like 25 28 and that acted as support and then you see it kind of come up break or you know like touch 60 break down and then it came back up to like 200 some and then, um, you know, I just remember like this part right here. I was like, oh, this is like a total pump and dump. I could have bought it at like 45 sats or something like that. <laughs> and I remember it jumped above 100. And I was like, okay, I'm going to actually buy this, enter it. But, you know, like it, it's crazy how much that actually ended up pumping. And if you guys had gotten in, say you sold at 1500 or whatever, 2000, I think it hit almost. Same thing with Verge, too. If you guys had bought in at, like, you know, this cheaper level and you just watched this happen, go up, go up, go up, you'd be fucking flipping out because that's literally hundreds of dollars in a second, you know? It was, like, going so fast. There were so many buy orders. And I remember I'd be being really, really euphoric after I got into that trade. So, you know, it's something to watch out for. I didn't obviously hold all the way up, but should I have? Maybe. I wouldn't have known. Nobody did. But it was just a whole different time then. And, you know, with HOT possibly having one of those pumps as well, I'm, I know I'm going to be keeping my eyes on it quite a bit. The FOMO will be real when it happens. It's just got to, you got to be in it before it because you don't want to buy into the FOMO. Honestly, I don't want to buy into any FOMO. What I think is overvalued, I won't buy straight up. I've been that way since day one. But that doesn't mean that some of these coins don't have use cases and some of them will do very well regardless of the use case. So it's just something I got to watch out for as a trader. Anyway, um, you know, don't marry your coins, I guess. Uh, marry Bitcoin. Bitcoin has my heart, guys. It always does. Anyways, Bitcoin Overdose here, your daily dose of crypto I overdose. So you guys don't have to. Definitely go follow me over at Bitcoin Overdose on Twitter. Your daily dose. Buy that dip. One Bitcoin always equals one Bitcoin. Hit that subscribe button right down below. Not any financial advice has been given at all, but buy Bitcoin and chill. And potentially, you, get, you guys should probably hit that notification bell to stay up to date because honestly, I think YouTube's algorithms are always fucked up with that kind of shit. And I want you guys to know what I'm looking at every day. And you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace out. Buy that dip.